video pros call to order today is Thursday, May Thursday, March 30th, 1028 AM. My name is Brandon Kelsey, along with Miss Ms. Cheryl Knotts and Miss Mr. Uh, Alvin Roche, staff support to see the DOC headquarters in Baton Rouge, our remote location, Franklin Detention Center with staff and support at Franklin Introduce Yourself. Uh, Deputy William Hicks with Franklin Parish, D.C. All right. All right, Deputy, thank you. We're ready for our first case. Yes, sir. All right, please introduce yourself, state your name, and DOC number for the record. Yes, sir. My name is Jason Travis. Uh, DOC is 534817. Hi, right, Jason. How are y'all doing today? Good. My name is Brennan Kelsey. You heard the introduction. Yes. My name is Brennan Kelsey. I have Ms. Renatza and Mr. Roche. Uh, we'll be your pro panel. We'll ask you some questions. You can respond. At the end, you can take a next statement. We'll take a vote. You understand the process? Yes, sir. All right, and let's see, we have people that will be uh, participating, but uh, we'll be listening in. Now we're paying Melinda Perry. All right, Jason, let me get your information down. DOC, Jason Travis, DOC number 534817. You're a first class offender for all eligibility date 10 14 2023. Good time. Not eligible full term 10, 12, 20, 26, 20 year sentence, forcible rape. Does that sound correct? Yes, sir. Okay. How old are you, Jason? Uh, 45. How long have you, many years have you been incarcerated? Uh, this year will be 17. 17 years on a 20 year sentence? Yes, sir. And you uh, took a plea to that 20 year sentence? Yes, sir. Um, what kind of classes have you taken since you've been in there? Uh, I've done uh, re-entry, the uh, sex offender program, uh, victim impact. I've received my diploma, uh, CPR. Uh, you all, all four phases of sex offender? Yes, sir. You got your GED? Yes, sir. I got my diploma here. Yes, sir. And, and currently you're what? Um, I'm a, I actually, currently I'm a mechanic right now at the shop. I've been in the shop here six and a half years, uh, learning my trade, which I hopefully plan to pursue when I get out of here. Well, so I, I have jobs lined up for me if I am released, but been blessed. Where you plan on, where you plan on going? What you plan on doing? Uh, well, I have an opportunity at White Ford up here, the dealership as a mechanic and, uh, possibly another one at the Waller Singer Chevrolet. So I where mean, is that? Right here in, in uh, Winsboro. What do you currently do for the facility? Uh, I work in a, a mechanic shop back here. Look, it's pretty bad crime. Tell me what happened there when you uh, with drugs or alcohol involved. What what exactly happened? Well, <laughs> I was younger and just bad decisions. You know, I mean, really wasn't thinking about my actions. You know, and had to live with them and learn. And I pay for it. <laughs> It's been hard, but, you know, by the grace of God, as he's seen me through it. But I've learned a lot, and, you know, I wish I can take it all back, and I'm extremely sorry. What did you, you learn? What did you learn? Well, I learned who I can be, who I am now today, and I'm very blessed, you know, skill level, my education level, and just respecter of persons in general. You know, I mean, I never thought that I... Do this? Were you uh, you weren't using drugs or alcohol? I mean, that that wasn't involved. You just did it just because you just thought it was the right thing to do. No, it definitely wasn't the right thing to do. I mean, you know, back then I did smoke weed and everything. Uh, I drank a little bit. Never was bad, but just <laughs> just mistakes in my life. Sure. Um. So have you had any disciplinary write-ups or anything? No, sir. And um, have you taken any victim awareness classes? Uh, 
Uh, the last one I did was the victim impact. Uh, okay. uh, far as that, I got uh, my diploma. And I can say you you seen the ones I mean. Uh, right. I don't know which one you're referring to. I mean, I've I've done a few. I mean, if there's more. <laughs> I mean, I'd be glad to take anything, but oh yeah, I, I, yeah, I know you took sex offender treatment. Um, I was just didn't know if there was there's a specific class called victim impact. I just didn't know if you had taken it. Oh yes, or, sir. Or, I was just asking. It'd be something that you know you did the victim impact letter. If you're gonna stay where you are, where'd you get in all this trouble at? Where, uh, where? It, it, it was in Livingston Parish. Livingston Parish. So you're not going back up there. No, sir. I'm gonna be up here in Franklin Parish and right here in Winsboro. Okay. I'm very proud of actually since I've been here, the support system I have. I mean, I've got some great people that's around me and you know, very good mentors. And you know, I'm very proud of that and very happy that I actually have that in my behalf. And I'm grateful for that. Have you ever had an opportunity to take like thinking for a change, a living in balance, or any of those classes? Um, I didn't. I didn't see the. Uh, no, no, sir. I haven't. Um, do you have any children? Uh, yes, sir. He's in. Uh, he's in Texas. He's he goes to school over in Texas. How old is he? Uh, he just turned sixteen. You have a relationship with him or not? Yeah, we we talk. That's that's one blessing I've ever had. Is at least we have something. You know, I mean. Man, I've I've missed him since he was been born and his whole life, and I'm blessed to even be able to talk to him. You know? Right. Okay. All right. Well, I don't have any further questions. Um, panel prepared. I mean, uh, would you like to make a statement in your behalf? Yeah. I, I first of all, I would like to apologize for to her and her family and my family and anybody that's impacted by my choices. You know and Lewis is probably long from my son down and I just wish I hope and grant one day they you know people forgive me you know let's beg and plead for that first and foremost <laughs> all right all right good panel prepared to vote I'll vote first um it sounds like you're doing real well where you are I mean you sound like you kind of you know kind of cleaned your head a little bit you're doing well where you are you you know you, you you're right you're developing a um a good support system that's important uh you're doing the things you need to do to because you will get out of this and you're going to get out i mean that's that's all part of it um today you know you you, you pled to a 20 year you agreed to it you have victim opposition and law enforcement opposition uh you know i would like to see you maybe take if you have an opportunity to take thinking for a change i think that would help you know you know either that living in balance i know you're working and maybe y'all can work that in work out maybe you have access to take that and maybe you don't but you know, I think those those would help you. But uh, today, for those reasons, I, my my vote is to deny you parole, Miss Renanson. I uh, you know, I, I'm glad you're doing well where you are. I'm glad you have a good support system and that you feel confident with that. I'm glad you you made the decision not to go back to where you came from. Thank you. Uh, no, but I do agree with Mr. Kelsey. You in the, you agree to a plea. Um, there is opposition, as he indicated, that's been expressed. So my vote today is to deny it. Mr. Roche. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Travis, uh, 17 years ago, you entered the plea with the state of Louisiana and the victim family. It was to serve 20 years. Those two parties, the state of Louisiana, through law enforcement and the DA's office, is opposed, and the victim family is opposed. Uh, in the nature of the crime, um, my vote is to deny your request. All right, you have three votes to deny. Today, your poll's been denied, but you're, 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 you're getting there. Good luck to you. All right.